You know the best part about jobs like this? Tell me. Not that we've started the job yet, but got the car right there. <laughs> and look at this, look at this. Where's the sun? It's over there. in the shade. We're so the basically, shade. up there we got a porch drain. And uh, we got a leak inside right here in the apartment. So we're gonna be filming the line from here upwards. And then we're gonna see if we could figure out the cause. And if we figure out the cause that's in the pipe, we're gonna then fix it with a pipe patch. Yeah, there you go. So that's our, uh, you know how I know it's a rain, a rain drain uh, manhole. You can see on the bottom, it's just, you know, there's no trough or, or sides on it. Benchik comes in, goes out, disarray. That wouldn't be so much. Gotta look it clean, don't forget. Otherwise, it's gonna be foggy. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Hi. There you go. <laughs> Nasty man. That's my middle name. Alrighty. Nice. So we got, uh, looks like 245s. It's gonna make it easier for us to go up. Go over to see the sun on top. So it's HDPE piping. So if there's any problem with the connections, we'd have to do a static, you know, a hydrostatic pressure test. You break it, you pay for it. I don't like that rule. <sighs> All right, so this is a connection. You want to go a little bit up and take a look at it. All right, so that's going to be uh, electrofusion. So that might be something to take a look at at some point, but I think we're too low. Right, we're gonna have to be closer to kind of the T over there, the ceiling. So we're gonna go up until we get to the T and then we'll look on the bottom part, you know, below the T. So we have connection, connection, keep going. Let's go closer, let's go to the T first. Okay, so we got the T over here. Let's look at the T. All right, so we're basically, it's dripping down below the T. So the issue is gonna be either in the T itself. Okay, here, let's go down a second, backwards either in the T or right below the T, um, right here. Those are basically the only two options that we have. So here, so I can look around it. Is that electrofusion or is that a weld? Just uh, look around, it looks like a weld. It looks like a butt weld. You like butt welds? Oh, all day, every day. That's right. Yeah, that's a butt weld right there. You can see right here. Usually those aren't an issue. Let's make sure it's not like detached or anything. It looks pretty good. So let's pull it down for just a little bit more. See if there's any connection right below that. Exactly. Pull backwards and pull back some more. No. Yeah, over here. Let's mm -hmm. see what these guys are. What kind of connection is this? What kind of connection is that? That's kind of strange. A little funky. Play the funky music, white boy. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, spider. And what kind of connection do you have over here? I don't. Look at, let's look a little but bit lower down. It's male to female on that. Is it maybe that's funky? Because that's the top. We're gonna we're gonna check this guy out. It's a little funky. All right, so and then just go straight up to the to the air the top part. All right, so we're gonna start doing our. Uh, we'll start getting our tools. Start doing some uh, snooping around and then come back. Oh, there it is. All right, so we're now on the top part of this balcony. So I can show you over here. That's gonna be the drain on the floor. And it goes to that. That's the pipe right there. Okay. I don't know why we have a T over here. Uh, they originally thought it takes this garden, but I don't know if it does. Uh, but if you can see over here, what we're doing now, we're doing a hydrostatic pressure test. Uh, not long ago, the water level was up to the six and is dropping. We're doing a baseline over here, basically. we. Put a balloon in here, that's a balloon with the compressor, okay? We put a balloon and covered up the T um, and filled up basically from the, the drain over here to the T. We filled that with water. Um, there's a lot of connections there. So when we do this test, we're not gonna know which connection it is. We're gonna have a baseline, is our problem in the horizontal line or not? So as it appears right now, we have water dropping. It looks like it's from there. So we're gonna look downstairs in the apartment. If we have water dripping, 
and it seems like we have water coming out from the stone stonework the, the steps and entrance as well might be the same leak might be a different leak but we're gonna find out you see anything yes sir oh it's dripping we got drippage we got drippage all right we got drippage so in the apartment all right so we know that our issue is in this area now it's gonna be a lot more work to figure out where it is because we have to now uh put a balloon how many joints do we have i don't like know we have like five, more than four? that so we're probably gonna do it like this we'll put that balloon under the t then feed a balloon here and we could check connection by connection by connection so we got the hd uh two inch by four right, inch hopefully four we got inch. that and we got our work cut out for us today that's right all right so we, put that. we got several balloons over here um okay this is what we did take a look i moved that balloon down i have a camera in here let's take a look and show you what we did so you get a better understanding this is the min cam has a good power up that's the balloon right there that's the top part of the balloon this is the T, so I'm only closing the bottom. So we could pour in water from the top of that, or even from here, you know what? We could pour water from here also, depending where we're doing our checking. And we're gonna slide our balloon, uh, starting from the end, pulling it back, checking connection by connection. All right, so we're gonna start from the closer connections first, okay, Chaim? And yes, then sir. bring it towards us. Go further out. All right, so which one do you think? Uh, I, I think that's gonna be too long, I think this should be good. Yeah, and what pressure is it rated at? This is our HD, this is awesome. This is a 50 by 100 packer. Oh, 30, sorry, a 30, 30 by 100. 100, sorry about that. Uh, and it's gonna, oh, sorry, the pressure's not on there. The pressure's actually on our uh, on our piece of paper that we have. So I'll, I'll tell you what it is. All right, let's do it. Easier, three so three right now. Yeah, so let's take the camera out over here. We're gonna slide this in. We're actually have the camera next to it as well, probably, but We'll see in a second. All right, got insertion. We're going in. You might have to add some air to get that in, but we'll find out in a second. Oh, it slides right in there. Woo! He does it. I want to. I want to change the uh, the lead to something like this. By the way, uh, that'll thin, be nice. A thinner one, not that one. I'm like a three eighth or something like that. This All is right. a half inch. All right. So we're gonna take our camera out and put it in there, position things, and. Uh, Exactly, put that camera in there and see where we are. Or put the 360 and uh, do some more flood testing. All right, so we just got done with a whole series of testing to make sure that the, where the location is and make sure there's only one, uh, one issue. Uh, so this uh, drain over here, so it goes down with a, with a 90. And then right over here, there's a hole in the top of that pipe. You see right there? There's a hole right there. And that's what we're dropping. And also, this is like a three inch that goes into a four inch. You can't really see it right now. But um, we're going to see if we could bridge the gap. If we get authorization to do a patch in there where we... Uh, it's going to be complicated how we put the packer in there. Because it's so close to the 90. So we have a, a method that we use to do that. And then we would retest it again and double check. But as we tested it now, we saw water we dripping saw down. So yeah. Dripping downstairs. Yeah, but the rest of the line, we did testing from the T all the way here. And no water drop and no uh, no leaking. So hopefully that's all there is. Uh, but of course you can always fix one issue and then find out there's a secondary issue. So always. Yep. Right. I almost had a funny fiasco there. So oh, it's a three by four transition over there that uh, we got to do. It's, it goes from a three to four. So <laughs> we got our fiberglass cut and then we're looking like no, I ain't gonna work. So this is a three by four packer and this is a three by four glass transition liner really short because we got a 45 degree so we just want to get the straight part so it packs out nicely right yep yeah so, <laughs> i was not paying attention yeah so we so, vacuumed yeah. it out and uh this is a secret so don't tell anybody don't tell anybody uh, now you're giving away all our trade secrets listen listen it's a secret they're not telling anybody right, so right, we right. fished it in it's all the way over here isn't that cute it's coming out right over here because we need to pack it out right to the 90. Send it in. and that like way so. That way you can go right up until here. That's a trade secret. If you understand, you understand. If you don't understand, you then know, you uh, know. if you know, you know. All right, ready to get started? All right, let's do, let's it. do it. 33, 33 degrees, oh, almost 34 Fahrenheit. Uh, sorry, Celsius. Are you telling us it's dry over here? This is sad, this is a sad, sad man. All right, boys. We're starting to get the silicate resin, water glass. Go.
Sound pretty good. Yeah, nice and smooth. We did rubber bands only one tie in the back, so because it was such a short distance, we want to make sure it popped, and it popped like a one bar. Yeah, that opened PSI. up real quickly. Yeah, and uh, we're holding a 2.5 bar, so we're drying it, we're cleaning everything off, obviously. A lot of leftover resin. <laughs> yeah, but small. mixing mixing less than 300 would be kind of difficult, so we it's more important for us to get a good mix, you know? Yeah, that was a nice, nice mix. Yeah, I'd rather have a good mix and have extra than to have a little too little and you don't really get a good mix in there, so. What we did, 300? All right, so get the bottom of the bottle, and uh, now we wait. We're using winter resin, not the sun, not the express, because it's hot outside. So we're gonna let it cure for about an hour after the pot life. No, you could probably do less, but we're gonna do. We'll do an hour, 15 total. Yeah, for mix time. All right. All right. So while we wait for stuff to dry, let me show you where it was leaking from. You see right there. So. Uh, it was leaking right over here. It was really leaking out. And now it's, it's looking good. So, yep. Let's just fix some problems. So we've just been sitting here and relaxing for the past uh, hour doing nothing. Hour right? All the wait. Yeah, just sitting around. You Is know, that what we were doing? Wasting time. <laughs> that didn't happen, but let's go take it out. And uh, hope that everything is good. Give me a hand there. Yeah, give me a hand. <laughs> that wasn't were, what you were asking for. Were, were you just uh, now? Give me a round of applause. Give me. A, you gotta get clap while you're doing a, a round of applause. No, yeah, that no, also works. Oh my god, you're corny. Uh, yeah. Turn to a dad. Look what happens. Lose all your coolness. I lose all my coolness. Ready nah, for the sound? That... Ready for the sound? Let's hear it. Okay, you ready? Woo! You like this, so we're gonna vacuum it. Well, now some extra stuff, so we can actually pull this back a little bit more. We'll pull out of here. Nice. If we need to, we'll vacuum it, but let's first take a look at what we got here. Put the big camera in. See what's going on. So taking the packer out, supposed to be the easy part, but we kinked our cable in the process. That was a difficult, uh, difficult repair over there. So no surprise, we'll fix that. But the repair came out fantastic. We have one camera over here going this way and one going that way. So let's first show you this one over here. So we're looking straight down there. And you're seeing an awesome, awesome transition. The fiberglass comes right up to the 90 right there. You can see it's sticking out it's a tiny bit. And it's really just absolutely beautiful right there. Sorry about the glare. And let me show you the, uh, the other one. Let's turn on this camera. You're not going to see it so well just because it's right after 45. Because it's after 45, it might be a little difficult. But here's my camera right over there. And it's really nicely formed right there. I'm going to back it up just a little bit to show you what else we got there. That's the, that's the transition, the three by four. And then packed out really nicely in the four inch right there. Look at that. And then it goes to the 45 degree. That's why I don't see anymore. So I'll call it a success. You know, a little pro level patchwork right there. Sometimes the stuff that's like right near you, right nearby. Doesn't mean it's easier. A lot of times those are the hardest jobs. But uh, you persevere, get it done. Use your head. We have some difficult parts there, but it's beautiful. Alright guys, so if you like this stuff, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Take care.